Well, let me uh, get the story out of the way. If you thought you knew everything about the characters in the Harry Potter books and mm -hmm. movies, you would be wrong. One of them has just been outed. The author of the hugely successful tales about wizards told a group of 1,600 school kids wizards. at Carnegie Hall that Dumbledore, the headmaster at Hogwarts, is gay. J.K. Rowling made the revelation when a young fan asked her if Dumbledore finds true love. She said Dumbledore was once smitten with a rival he defeated in battle between good and bad wizards. And when Rowling recently saw the script of the sixth Potter movie, which made a reference to a female that Dumbledore was once interested in, she passed a note to the director to make a correction. J.K. never ceases to surprise and amaze. No, no, no. Uh, I, I got a problem with this whole thing. Yeah. If you read the Harry Potter uh, books, which I don't, I like the movies, but I've, I haven't uh, read one of those books. But a few, a few Harry Potter uh, readers checking in today. Readers. And they're saying, why didn't she mention it in the actual book? Yeah. It's not mentioned in the actual book. If she did mention or it books. in the book. Because when he was practicing, he became the headmaster. Oh. That was clear enough. That is, that is clear and had nothing to do with the school. He had a crush on Gellert Grindelwald. <laughs> they were practicing wizardry, smacking each other's mouths with swords. <laughs> <laughs> he was a lonely fruit, like most people who enjoy those books. <laughs> I'm just jealous because she outsold me, and I didn't think she would. Uh, <laughs> I think anything that happens to a character that isn't in a movie or a book is nothing. Even in a movie and a book, it's nothing because they're just characters. Right. But but when people like make stuff up that hasn't been in the in the book about a character, it, the guy doesn't really exist. You, what does it matter? It was very disappointing when Steven Spielberg came out and said that Jaws was gay. <laughs> That's why his mouth was always open. I couldn't believe it. He wasn't even practicing with her gay. Wizard. They get so into these characters that they go beyond the books and movies and what they're doing, what, now in real life? What? Ah, she's pretty smart. I guess she felt like she needed to sell a few more books. So, Does she think that'll sell books or not sell books? It, because it'll probably sell a few books. Probably people now will reread the books, that's for sure, and go, oh, lo oh, look at this. I just see some people burning the books. Yeah. Some people maybe in the uh, Midwest or some Bible thumpers down south now jumping on board and going, well, this book has to go. Of course, they were doing that anyway because of the... <laughs> the wizardry, which <laughs> seems to have people... Who read the Bible very upset. Yes, they think it's some kind of satanic thing. But then you throw a few uh, homos in. Yeah. Oof. Now you got some problem. I don't know what they think is worse, the devil or the homosexual. Well, they see they're one and the same. They just think <laughs> a gay guy is just... The devil is basically just walking in a, a small dog in Chelsea with horns on his head. <laughs> That's what they think. It's amazing. The Bible, they, they don't like anything with wizardry. And yet on page whatever, it's... Yeah, and then he moved the big rock after being dead for three days. Well, that's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't like that supernatural nonsense. He hopped off the cross, he ran to Wendy's, and then he pushed the rock away and became heavenly. Did he? <laughs> I'm sure he did. Are you saying Jesus was... <laughs> no, not at all. The Pope's in a fire showing up, and the Virgin Mary just showed up on a roll of toilet paper in Des Moines. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, so we're going to find Mother Teresa's third miracle so she can be a saint. But, you know, enough of this silliness about wizardry and things of that ilk. We'd hate to poison the children's mind with that type of nonsense. That's right. On the third oh. day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. I'm sure he did. Let's not uh, forget when Jesus walked across the water there. Walking on water. And Moses was 800 years old. He took one of every animal, skedaddled across the ocean. On a little boat. All their animal dumps didn't weigh the stupid boat down. He had enough hay to keep everybody alive. God said build an ark, so he did. I mean, it's the way it is, folks. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> there was no wizardry involved with that, right? Uh, no wizardry whatsoever. Water to just, wine. Just a lot of wood. Yeah. Hey, we're hungry. Ah, fish for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> really? But these were these were pebbles. <laughs> They're fish now. Enjoy the fishes, ladies and germs. <laughs> this <laughs> this water is terrible. Well, then have something that'll make you beat your wife. <laughs> wine. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's they good. certainly believe in a lot of wizardry. Yeah, they certainly do. I'm going to kill my son. Whoa, big hand coming down. Hey, Abraham, I was joking. I was joking. Hey, easy. <laughs>
Easy, Abraham. Don't kill him. I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> but there's, I was kidding. But there's a problem with the Harry Potter book. Oh, it's wizardry. Who would want that supernatural thing <laughs> in the minds of these young children? Do you love your kid? Uh, you love me as God? I do. Then slay your son, Abraham. I'd prefer not to. Do it if you love me. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to make sores all over you anyway. <laughs> just, Lot's wife looked when she shouldn't have, and the old gal became a bunch of salt. <laughs> That's what happens when you look back later. Lady, you're now a pillar of salt. Now all the deer are going to lick you. <laughs> but there's no wizardry involved. No, in that. not at all. It's right. perfectly logical. Don't ever question that stuff. Oh, how does that happen? Just nonsense. Damn you. I layeth my staff upon the Nile and turn it to blood. It's wizardry. <laughs> <laughs> when characters collide on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> Damn you. Look, my staff is cast down at your feet and it turns into a serpent. <laughs> Damn you. It's magic, but good magic. Magic of the Lord. Fast forward a Lord few. Lord <laughs> God. Yeah. Carve out these Ten Commandments with some kind of lightning thing. And how did I know to get them? The burning bush told me. It's a bush that burns and talks. That's all cool. But no Dumbledore homos. <laughs> it's a good thing God didn't zap that stuff onto like a, a piece of papy papyrus or something that could have been carried. Take two giant headstones and make them fall down the mountain like that. <laughs> God almighty. Fast forward a couple thousand years, and uh, Harry Potter will be the new Jesus, yeah. and we'll be fighting wars all over the freaking world over Harry Potter. Over Harry Potter and that his was... homo friends. And his people wizardry. Have been, people have been misbehaving. What should I do? I know. Flood the whole place out, <laughs> except for one boat full of birds and dinosaurs in that hill. <laughs> <laughs> one boat full of them. Fuck. Clean everything out. Forty <laughs> days. All things gone. Make sure Forty the, days. Make sure the rats uh... survive. Make sure the rats survive and the roaches. Yeah. <laughs> right. And a giraffe. Yes. Everything. Well. I think the I birds I didn't know it was flew. everything. I'm thinking there were more animals, but he couldn't get them all on the ark, and this is what we were left with, the ones he was able to get on the ark. What about fossils? Like dinosaurs and stuff. Well, they're, 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 here's, the, here's the argument they have about that, and it's a doozy. Oh, yeah. And this is how they explain the dinosaurs and all that stuff. It's less than 6,000 years old. You see, our carbon dating is the problem, not the uh, oh. not the way they're looking at things. It's the carbon dating, which is not dating them properly. Do you see? Because Wouldn't there be more? Um, uh, Six thousand years, relatively speaking, not that old. Yeah, of course. Wouldn't not. we have more stuff of the dinosaurs? Yeah, of course. We'd have we'd have fifty of them running through Manhattan right now, Fifty Seventh <laughs> Street. They'd be blocking traffic. <laughs> they'd be riding them to work. <laughs> God Almighty, we we, uh, we we found a one woolly mammoth frozen. Yeah, you know, in, in pretty intact. That's what we found. And mammoths were pretty much at the end of any yes. prehistoric age. Big stupid hairy elephant! How embarrassing! <laughs> Can't even be a cute elephant like the one at the circus. You got to stink like wet elephant hair. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine riding an elephant with hair on it. How annoying that would be! All matted, and you know what happens back there? Just all caked oh up. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. One dingleberries as as big as softballs. Yeah, just oh. giant. They, they thought they were natives, but they were actually just dingleberries hanging off. <laughs> How silly would an elephant look doing that dog dragging its butt across the carpet thing? <laughs> Scooting. <laughs> Scooting with his big feet. Stupid hairy elephant is trying to style his hair and comb it back because it's hot. <laughs> hairy idiot.